Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Friday, 20th day of November. Here we go. Placemats. You know what they are. They're like miniature tablecloths. Well, they're a little thicker. It's good to have a separate meat a placemat if you're having a meat meal at a table and then you know for your dairy meals to have a separate uh, dairy placemat for your dairy things and that's a good proper juice custom for any kitchen if you're using placemats to have meat ones for meat dairy ones for dairy back to the refrigerator it is not necessary at all at all to have separate refrigerators for milk and meat no you don't have to do that don't even think it um, do you have to have separate areas in the refrigerator no you don't have to the only thing to watch for is spills if you have some milk stuff that you know spills or could spill you know wipe up the spills certainly and um, if you want to put things on separate sides you know that's an okay recommendation you don't have to do it but you know that way the spill from the meat will end up on the meat side and the spill from the dairy will land on the milk stuff but you don't have to do that it's just a nice idea to be extra careful if you want to um, if you want to eat salad in restaurants I'm switching topics still into the kosher thing exactly you say I'm in a non kosher restaurant I'm just having a salad it's not that simple it's really not that simple because you don't know what knives they cut things with you don't know what's going on with the dishes you don't know how they check the the lettuces for bugs and everything so if it's something that you do often or you feel you have to do often please please speak to a rabbi because it is not at all recommended to say I'm eating in a non kosher restaurant but I'm just having a salad it's not simple at all and try not to do that and if you're stuck doing it talk to a rabbi about getting more and more guidelines on that um, if you want to order just like some plain black coffee in a place that's not kosher um, if you know that the thing only serves black coffee it's probably going to be okay but it's best to have it not in one of their uh, you know um, coffee cups best of course if it's in a disposable cup if you have to and again if you make a habit of doing those kinds of things uh, check with your rabbi so that you don't miss on any of the parameters uh, that are necessary to watch for a rolling pin if you have a rolling pin that's par of that's wonderful and it's always rolling out par of dough and that's good If you want to use it for a dairy dough you could and just wash it very very well afterwards um, and then it could go back to being par of if you manage to wash it very very well there are some who say that a rolling pin is too hard to perfectly clean so if you're going to get into that situation speak to a rabbi to know guidelines on that because you could go back to making that rolling pin par of again it's all been cold and it only touched some dairy dough but you have to know that you cleaned it perfectly so make sure that you did if you had salad at a meat meal and you were eating it throughout the meat meal nothing was in the salad except par of stuff but then there's leftover of that salad and you want to eat it at a dairy meal it's problematic because all kinds of meat spoons things serving utensils could have touched the salad so please please don't eat a leftover meat meat uh, a salad eaten at a meat meal then at a dairy meal it's a problem if you want to have a salad bowl that uh, is par of and you want to sometimes serve it at, at a meat meal and sometimes at a dairy meal it could be done but uh, it's probably best if you're doing that to make certain that the spoon that reaches into the salad bowl is dairy clean clean and it's a dairy clean dairy spoon serving out the salad over to the dairy stuff or if it's the a par of salad bowl and you're using it at a meat meal to make sure that it's a giant meat spoon you know clean that's uh, bringing the stuff over to the meat area and obviously using separate spoons would be better but the salad point is the salad bowl could be par of and used at uh, a meat meal and at a dairy meal just be careful about what's touching what thanks for logging on have a great Shabbos and log on again after Shabbos for more bye bye